Hello beautiful and welcome back to my channel and welcome to this week's new makeup releases where we are going to chat about the new makeup that's been released, announced and sneak peeked and I am going to let you know what I think about these products and then you let me know down in the comments what you think about these products. I have both of my dogs sleeping on the floor next to me so if you hear any snoring, it's not me, it's not Ricardo, <laughs> it is the doggos but yeah let's jump into these new makeup releases because there are some interesting ones to talk about. <laughs> I did film this look for like an Instagram tutorial and funnily enough, I did wear the, I am wearing the Alice in Wonderland and Colourpop palette. That's what's on my eyes today. Um, even though Colourpop did gift me this t-shirt for the 4th of May, may the 4th be with you, even though for you it was yesterday, but it, today is the 4th of May as I'm filming this. So I hope you had a good Star Wars day. So I wanted to wear this t-shirt because it's, it's Star Wars Day and I love Star Wars. And speaking of that, Colourpop did restock the, um, I don't know if they restocked all the Star Wars palettes, but they restocked the C-3PO, the Darth Vader, and the big Star Wars palette. And you can use my code in Jeshka and get some money off at Colourpop. I will leave a link to that down below in case you were hoping that those uh, palettes are going to be restocked. They did restock yesterday, so do check that out. That was like this week's Colourpop segment. I'm also going to have a huge giveaway at the end of this video, so do stay tuned until the very end of the video because I'm going to be talking about a very big giveaway. I am finally doing the giveaway that I've been talking about for quite some time and we're going to have six different winners. But let me scoochie scoochie so we can talk. Okay, Kaisa wants to join. Kaisa wants to join. Oh baby, are you okay? Okay, thank you so much. We're actually going to the vet today with Kaisa because she broke a tooth and the vet wants to look at it to make sure that she doesn't need to extract it. So let's hope you're okay. She, let's hope you're okay, okay? Otherwise we'll, we'll fix it. Mommy will fix it. Oh, oh you're so sweet. A little snouty, a little snouty. Thank you, nice. We have finally been able to see the full collection of the Glamlight and Scooby-Doo round two. There is a bunch of things in this collection. There is an eyeshadow palette, a brush set, there is a mirror, there are two different lip sets, a blush duo, and I think it's like a lip treatment and lip scrub and a makeup bag. I know parts of this collection is sold out and I do have a code with Glamlight and my code is and Jessica and you can get 15% off at Glamlight. They will not be restocking this uh, collection, but they did say that they were going to send it out as PR. So as soon as I I have it they're having some delays with PR I will be making a video trying this one out unless all of it is sold out by then because then I think it's just annoying if you're making a video and like everything is sold out but I'll do something with it I am excited to be trying this out and I will say the palette let's just talk about the palette for a bit because I think that's like the main attraction I think it looks really cool the color story and I love that they did one row for each person but the um, the distance between the pans are bigger on one side than the other, so I kind of wish that they would have made columns for each of the characters instead of rows, because the characters are upright, but then still each character has a row. And I think it would have made more sense if each character had a column, but that's just me being nitpicky. And honestly, like, this isn't my vision, this is the brand's vision, but I love that they did one for each character, so... I do really appreciate that. Of course, I'm loving that Velma roll with the, the oranges and like that. That looks really, really pretty. And overall, I am excited to be trying this out because I love Glamlight's formula and I really did like the Scooby-Doo collection that they had before. And I'm really excited to see how this looks um, like in real life to see how it all pans out. I like the mixture of shimmers and mattes in here. And yeah, I'm excited to try it out. I don't really have any further thoughts about it other than I was like looking at the packaging and I was like oh I wish it was like rows I like columns instead of rows but like in the grand scheme of things does it really matter maybe not I want to talk about this because I feel like this is one of those things that could be great but it could also go really south and this is revolution and Fortnite have hinted that they're doing a collection listen I'm actually playing Fortnite for the first time this weekend. My friend Ellie Dawson is gonna take me along and teach me how to play Fortnite. I'm gonna play with her and a couple of her friends and her husband. I am dedicated. I am, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna try it for the first time this weekend. And then of course, I'm gonna force Allie to play uh, some of my favorite games with me. I just love playing video games, but I haven't really had the time to play a lot as of late. I am intrigued to see what this is because I feel like 
in 2022, Makeup Revolution did do a really good job with some of their collections. Some of their collections, people really did like how it looked. I mean, the, the packaging of the Grinch palette, the, the fur, it was amazing. It looked so cute. A couple of the things that they did was really good, but then we all remember that palette for the Game of Thrones palette, which was just like a bad clip art job. So I'm hoping they're going to do a good job with this one. It seems like it's going to be clear plastic packaging. Cla plastic? Plastic? Can I speak? Just based on what I'm seeing right here. Um, but I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued. Is this going to be a big collection like they sometimes do? Is it going to be a small collection, which they sometimes do? You never know with Makeup Revolution. It is a makeup roulette with them. You never know what you're going to get. And... I am intrigued though, and per usual, I am excited to see makeup brands uh, do collections with gaming companies because it only means that sooner or later they're gonna get to my games, right? One palette that is actually coming to me this week. Please let me know what you would like me to do with this palette because I am leaving for Charleston on Monday. I've talked about that uh, both on my vlog channel. If you're not following my vlog channel, maybe you should. I've started uploading there again after taking a month break for dealing with the, uh, the start of my beauty brand, Cinch Beauty, which is also linked in the description box. But I'm back at vlogging again and I talked about that I'm going to Charleston uh, with, as a creator trip. I'm going with a bunch of friends and it's gonna be so super, super fun, and I'm going on Monday. But this palette is supposedly being delivered to me uh, tomorrow, and it is the new palette by Bella Beauté Bar. I think it's called like Smoky Glam. It's their take on a neutral palette. It's a very big palette, and I don't know if I have time to do like two looks with it. Would you like me to save this until I get back and I can do a full face of trying new makeup? Because I do have a bunch of things that I could be trying out here uh, and maybe include it there and do like a really fun, like, what do you want me to do? Because I don't think I'll have time to do two looks before I, I, I would love to hear some thoughts because I really did like their pastel palette. The quality was great. The only thing that's like, probably some of you as well, that's like holding you back. It's that it's so big. It's such a, that's not what she said. That's not what's holding her back. But I will say some people love big palettes. Some people love small palettes. Some people love a quad. Some people love a 35 pan palette. So it's nice to see that there is something for everyone. And I do like the color story of this one with the, the murky greens and the smoky like neutrals. And then there's peaches and pinks and like browns and also some berries and purples. I like the color story of it, so I'm intrigued to see if this is the same good quality as the pastel palette. I do have a cold with Bella Beauté bar as well. It is like with most places and Jessica, per usual, every detail is gonna be in the description box. So if you're interested in any of these things that I'm talking about in today's episode, always check out the description box. But I am intrigued to see this one in real life because I feel like just when I look, because I saw some moving pictures of this one, a couple of these shimmers seems like duochromes and the duochrome formula from Bella Beauté bar is absolutely stunning so yeah i'm in i am intrigued by this one even though i know i wouldn't buy a big palette like this myself but i know a bunch of you love big palettes like this this is a product where i love the packaging but i look at the product I don't, i'm like i don't need this i don't need this i don't need this i don't need this and this is the summer collection by fenty beauty this is the prettiest the prettiest makeup packaging i've ever seen in my life it is incredible. So it is a matchstick cheek and lip in strawberry pop gel. It, it gives you a rosy shade, reacts to your skin. Oh, so it's one of those pH, but I definitely do not need that. I do not need a matchstick in a pH, but no, no. But if you're into that, it comes in a great packaging. But just know this is one of those that reacts with your skin. You're going to get pink. Just be prepared. Be, pre be prepared for the pink. And then there is a Poutsicle Hydrating Lip Stain, and it comes in Gem and Eye, and it is a bright berry pink. Uh, or maybe there's two shades, one brighter pink and one darker, or is it... No, it is a bright pink. Oh, yeah, 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 okay. So it goes on as a berry and the stain is a pink. So this is a pink collection, but when I saw this, I was like, oh, orange, but it, the packaging is orange and pink. The actual products are pink. I do really like the formula of the Poutsicle Hydrating Lip Stains, and I like them because they are actually hydrating, they don't dry out your lips, and they actually leave quite an impressive stain afterwards. I really like it, but I have it in orange, and I don't need to buy it in this shade, but oh, this packaging. Whoever did this packaging for Fenty, 
they need a raise, they need a bonus, they need an extra vacation week. It is 10 out of 10. There is also a new palette coming from uh, Gloss Gods, and this is the What's Your Power Remixed Eyeshadow Palette. This one has already launched, actually. I will leave a link to it down below. Gloss Gods is a Swedish indie brand that ships from Sweden, so if you're living in the EU, this is a way to try some indie brands without having to pay some extra VAT fees. And honestly, this looks really pretty. It is a almost like a neon pastel rainbow palette that's a mix between shimmers and mattes and it looks really really cute and i think some of these shimmers are duochromes as well because they make some really really nice duochromes so yeah this one it looks really cute i like the look that they did on the model here as well with the almost like the neon pastel rainbow going from one eye to the other if you're looking for something fun and bright for the summer this might be a good idea I really like Gloss Gods as a brand and I'm excited to see them release more things. Oh, I am definitely gonna pick up at least one of these. And this is the new product from Huda Beauty. I love a nice lip stain. I usually put it on and then uh, I wipe off whatever's on top and I put a lip oil or a lip gloss or something on top. I like the color underneath, the, the sheer tint. I think it's beautiful. And this one comes in so many colors. I think these are not available yet. They're coming on the 9th, which is next week, and it comes in five shades, and I like the shade range. It's like a mauve pink, a bright, like, almost coral pink, and then there are two more orange shades and a darker berry, and those two orange shades, I mean, how am I supposed not to? Like, really? In what universe am I not picking up those shades? Not this universe, that's for sure. So definitely picking up those two shades. I think they look so gorgeous. And I really like that the packaging has different colors as well. I know that that could not have been very affordable to do. And I really like how this looks. I like a lip tint if it leaves a lot of stain. And from the pictures here, it does seem to leave a lot of stain. I just hope it's not a... Um, like one of those drying lip tints because some are drying and some are not but yeah i'm probably going to be using this as a lip tint like while i'm applying my makeup and then wipe it off and then put a lip oil on top that's usually how i use lip tints like this but i'm definitely going to pick it up i think it looks pretty let me know what you think is this something that's appealing to you i feel like lip tints are having a little bit of a moment right now and another thing that is definitely having a moment this year is like eye crayons and like eyeshadow sticks and now maybelline is coming out with one as well it's nice to see that there are some affordable options and some like more exp like the, the something for everyone i know I don't know if I talked about that, but also Milani released some, but I think the reason I didn't talk about that, because I think I didn't, because they were all neutrals. And I'm like, it was, for me, it's not for me, but just know Milani released some as well. But these are in some colors as well. And some seem to have shimmer and some seem to not have shimmered, like they're saying matte shimmer. These are available right now in Europe and I'm guessing they're coming to the US as well, but it's nice to see that when a product becomes really popular, you can get them at different price ranges depending on like what your favorite place to shop is. I thought this was really interesting and this is that Pat McGrath is coming out with the mini uh, skin fetish divine blush. So they're coming out in like a mini, mini version? And I thought that that was really cool. They're only only $25 each, but I'm excited to see Pat McGrath doing more minis. She's doing those mini eyeshadow palettes. She's doing the mini blushes. I think that this is such, I was going to say gateway, but it is a cool way for to give people the opportunity to try her brand at a little bit more of a snack-sized <laughs> price tag. Because like, some of her things are really, really expensive, and it's nice to know that you can get a mini. And listen, I don't know about you, but I'm not out here going through blushes. That's not my journey. That's not what I do. So to be able to get her blush in a mini, and her blushes are great. Like, they're super, super nice. So I would definitely recommend this. I also saw that she was having a little bit of a, like, a package where you can get a kit with that mini eyeshadow palette that she came out with last year with the purples, a mini mascara, and I think an eyeliner. Again, I love these. I think this is really good and I like this approach that Pat McGrath is taking to making parts of her brand more accessible. We've seen it with other more expensive brands. I know Natasha Denona does minis as well. And honestly, I think it's a great idea. And some people will try the mini, love the brand and buy the full size. So honestly, 
I want to see more of this from more expensive brands because I love this. Armani Beauty is releasing the Luminous Silk Glow Liquid Bronzer. This is not for me. Uh, I think this is a really, really big bottle and I don't want a bronzer in a dropper. Or does it matter? I mean, you can just drop it on your beauty blender, I guess. I don't know. There's something about having a bronzer in a dropper. I don't think that's my preferred packaging, like my choice that I would pick for a bronzer. And it's $48 each. And like, I love a liquid and a cream bronzer. I really do. I think they're amazing, but I don't think I would buy something that's this expensive in a packaging that I don't think I'm going to enjoy. I, I don't think this is for me. Maybe this is meant to be like mixing into your foundation. I'm not 100% sure. Used under or on top of makeup for natural sun-kissed look with a warm golden glow. Maybe it's amazing. I think that some people are going to look at this and be like, this is exactly what I'm after. I think I would have been more intrigued if it wasn't in a dropper. Is that weird? How do you feel about the dropper with the bronzer? There is a brand that I have never tried, but I am very, very intrigued. And especially when I saw this palette here, and this is Simply Posh Cosmetics, and they are releasing a citrus punch palette for summer, 18 beautiful and rich citrus summer shades. Um, their inspiration was citrus fruits, which make the perfect summer shades. This is launching on the 12th of May. And I think that this looks really, really cute. I love the color story. I love colors like this, especially for summer. And they did actually reach out to me and ask me if they could send me some things. So I don't know if they're going to send me this one or if they're going to send me some of their older palettes, because I think that this is their fourth palette that they're releasing. But honestly, I've heard nothing but good things about their brand. And I will be honest, had they not said that they were going to send something to me in PR, I probably would have picked this one up because I think it looks beautiful. I love the, the green roll, the yellow roll, like all of this looks so beautiful. And I love that there are two right like, darker shades in here that I can use as an outer corner shade as well. And I'm just, I'm intrigued by this release. I really like it. And I am interested in trying this one out. And if they send me the older palettes and not this one, I will pick this one up because I think it looks really pretty. I saw this one as well. This is from Ensley Rain Cosmetics. I've never tried that brand, but my friend Heather has. I'm pretty sure that she tried it out. And they have updated and re-released their Flower Moon palette. Uh, and they have added three new multichromes and three new mattes. It comes out on May 9th and it will be $69. The swatches look beautiful, but I can't help to notice that some of these shades seem a little similar, especially on that green side. I think that some of those shimmers are maybe a little too similar to have to be in this palette, but I can't deny that it all looks very, very appealing. But yeah, I'm, I'm just, I look at some of these and I'm like, they're so similar that like, yeah, in the grand scheme of things, they make sense for the palette. But also sometimes, you know, when you put shades together in a palette, sometimes you have to be, you know, editing things down a little bit so that you don't put dupes in there. But also like, I don't know, maybe if I got it and was able to swatch it, I feel totally different because I will say these swatches look yummy. $69 is a lot of money for an indie palette though, especially from a brand that I have never tried. Mm, because like sometimes you want to be smarter with your money, but I, thinking of that, I have no idea how much this Simply Posh Cosmetics palette is. I want to go back and see what it is. It doesn't say anything. How much are there? Like, oh, it's based in Texas as well. I'm going back to the other release, but I want to see how much their palettes are. $45. Yeah, that's, that's more in the range where I'm like, I can just go. But then when they add that extra 10 or the extra 20, I need to watch a lot of reviews before I pay that extra 10 or 20 or $30 for a palette from a brand that I've never tried. And I mean, that's what reviews are for, I guess. That's, that's what we're out here trying to do, <laughs> trying to help people decide which palette is for them or maybe none of them is for you, which is, let's be fair, maybe the best thing because sometimes it's nice to save your money. L'Oreal is coming out with a new blush and this is the Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear Blush. I think they have had a lot of good luck with this range because they're coming out with a lot of things within this umbrella thing of the Infallible 24 Hour. So this is in coral pink berry and rosewood and honestly i think the shades are gorgeous i think they are hitting on a lot of different notes and i think that everyone that looked at this range would probably find a blush that would 
somewhat fit for them. I would probably buy that lighter peach one. And yeah, I think it looks pretty. Am I gonna be buying this? No, because I've bought so many blushes and gotten so many blushes as of late. I don't need to be trying one more out, but I don't think it's a bad release for L'Oreal. Speaking of pH adjusting makeup, uh, Tarte is releasing even more of these pH adjusting makeup. Like they have done lip oils, they have done a cheek product, cheek products. They did a powder one that changes and they did a cream one that changes and now they're doing a lipstick in that like clicky component that also is a pH adjusting. I'm like, where does it end? Are we gonna do pH adjusting eyeshadows? We're all getting pink eye, like make it stop. Please, this trend, are we done with it? Can we like leave this, leave this here and just move on to something else because I feel like we've done this now. And also like the swatches on the lips look beautiful, but I'm like, this product seems to be so pigmented that I'm like unsure where the pH adjusting thing comes in. Is it that like when it wears off, your lips are pink? Like does that, is that a selling point? Like, I don't understand that Tarte like buy a like a truckload of this pH adjusting ingredient and then they're like putting it in everything because they need to use it up. Like what what's what's going on over here? Like is there a bet going on in the makeup community? Like who can release the most pH adjusting makeup products before people start like really questioning it? Because I'm starting to question it. I'm at the point where I'm like, what's going on? This is really intriguing makeup product. And even though it's definitely not for me, I understand who it is for. And I appreciate the playfulness and the fun of this new Adept Cosmetic Ketracel White Multi-Use Palette. There is a rainbow highlighter, uh, two rainbow highlighters, one with a black base and one with a, a transparent base. Those are powder. And you can either pull a brush and do the stripes individually and get a rainbow on the cheeks, or you can use a smaller brush and just put on the stripe where you want. Those are multi-chromes. So even though it looks like a rainbow from one side, it's gonna look like different stripes from other sides. If you mix them all together, you're probably not gonna get a multi-chrome anymore more because the pigments are probably mixed together but you're probably gonna get a nice iridescent shade and then you have two multi-chrome cream highlighters i have not seen any multi-chrome cream highlighters before so it's interesting to see that on the market as well vorta and gem hadar i think this isn't for me i don't need more things like this in my life i have so many lovely multi-chrome highlighters in my life that i am using that i'm enjoying i'm even wearing uh, one of the new ones from Unearthly Cosmetics today. This one is in Mirage. It is a peach to a gold to a green. Really, really pretty. Really, really enjoying how these are looking on the skin. I don't need more. That's where I'm at. I don't need more. I really love the brand Goldfield and Banks and they are releasing Ingenious Ginger, which is a new scent. And something about a ginger perfume makes me go, huh. I kind of want to try it. So this is bergamot, ginger lily, ginger, mandarin, magnolia, lemon, jasmine, rose, sandalwood, patchouli, vanilla, musk, cashmere, and amber. There is a lot of things in that that I love, and there's a lot of things in there that I don't love. So the question is, is this going to smell more like a citrus and ginger perfume, or is this going to be more like a floral perfume with a bit of freshness in there? That's the big difference. Like, what is the main thing? What's going to be left on your skin? Is it citrus and ginger or is it white florals? Because that's the big difference for me. And I really hope that I'm able to try this somewhere. You can also get a 10 milliliter, which is one of those mini spray bottles for $35, which is good because I will say it's a fairly expensive uh, brand. Like the 50 milliliters is $125, the 100 milliliters is $185. I will link down below where you can find Goldfield and Banks. They're a lovely Australian uh, perfume brand and I really enjoy the two that I have from them. I have the uh, Rock, what is it? Pacific Rock Moss and I have the, what is it called? the fruity one. I keep forgetting, but I'm going to have a, <laughs> I'm going to have a perfume video real soon. I'm filming it hopefully this week. Hopefully I'm filming it. So I'm going to have that, but it's probably going to be in a little bit because it's going to take some time to edit, but I really like this brand and I am, I'm intrigued by this because the thought of this 
ginger perfume sounds like something I would like, but then I'm a little worried about the jasmine magnolia patchouli element of this. Like how much in the forefront are those ones? That makes me a little nervous. There was another perfume I wanted to talk about here. Dolce & Gabbana is releasing a new version of their light blue perfume, which is probably their most loved perfume series ever. So I'm not surprised to see them release new versions of it. And the bottle is oh, it's so pretty. It is like the Italian tile print and it is to die for. The print is amazing. So this is the Energy by the Sea. It is a limited edition that reinvents two iconic fragrances and wrapping them in a, yeah, it's called Masholika print. Ugh. I need to smell this. So it is the iconic light brew fragrance that is tinged with the fresh touch of Cal Calabrian bergamot, bergamot, accompanied by the sweetness of fruits and the soothing touch of woody notes. And like the idea of this, because it is bergamot, peach, and cedar wood, and I'm like, that sounds lovely. This is so that Ulta. I will link it down below. And I'm like, I need to go smell this. Oh my god, my dogs are so dramatic. I don't know if you can hear the snoring in the background. But bergamot and peach in a summer scent. I might want this too. What's going on over here? Somebody take my debit card, stat. Speaking of fragrances, there's also some new limited edition summer body sprays from Sol de Janeiro. They released a couple of these last year. I smelled all of them and I didn't really love any of them. I have one of these body sprays that they released with Anita, which is a Brazilian singer, performer. It's amazing. I even used it the other day because the weather was so lovely. And I'm like, look at me being all tropical. I was channeling my inner, inner tropical lady, but they are releasing three more for the summer. And it is a Do Not Disturb, which is a mimosa flower and nude musk. There is a When in Rio, is again, bergamot and vanilla amber. And then there is a bikini season that is guava, nectar and sunlit orchid. None of these sound like they're gonna be for me. And like I said, I already have one of these body sprays that I really love when I wanna have a super tropical, spray all over my body, daytime kind of a scent. So I don't need to buy another one, but it's interesting to see them continue with this thing. Definitely going to be sniffing them next time I'm able to be like in a Sephora or something, but I don't think that these are going to be for me, but I will link them down below. I think we're coming into like a liquid lipstick season because we talked about the liquid lipsticks from Glossier that was, are they available? Or are they coming soon? And now L'Oreal is also releasing liquid lipsticks. And this is the Infallible Le Matte Resistance Liquid Lipsticks, a powdery matte liquid lipstick that lasts up to 16 hours. I like that they say powdery because it means that it's not going to be one of those sticky formulas. Because I know at the drugstore, those like really long lasting liquid lipsticks have been a tinge sticky. <laughs> A tinge sticky. These are coming in 12 different shades. And honestly, I think the shades look pretty. There are some brown ones, some pink ones, some red ones, some light, some dark. I don't think it's a bad range at all. I think it's coming soon. Or is it available now? Uh, yeah, it is available now. I will try and find it and I will link it down below. And also, uh, Milani is coming out with some what seems to be powdery liquid lipsticks as well. A Stay Put Liquid Lip Longwear Lipstick. Um, long lasting but lightweight matte formula with up to 12 hour of high comfort transfer proof wear. High comfort. That's a claim and a half when it comes to liquid lipsticks. Um, whipped mousse like texture delivers soft focus matte color at ultra comfortable wear. So I'm thinking this might not be 100% transfer proof, might be a little bit like the Ofra liquid lipsticks. I like the colors here as well. Some light ones, some dark ones, some berries, some reds, some browns. I think everyone will find something interesting in here. And I think there's a couple of shades here that I think look pretty too. And I'm like, are we like completing the circle? Like, are we back at matte liquid lipsticks? Did we get back to matte liquid? Because we have like, we're back at like colored highlighters. And now we're back at matte liquid lipsticks. What's next? Are we getting back to a season of full coverage and cream contours? 
asking for a friend. Here's more. Here's more liquid lipsticks. This is from Maybelline. I think this is their existing formula, but I think they're either coming up with a limited edition packaging or these are new shades. These might be new shades, right? So this is the Mood Makers collection. Yeah, this has to be a new, new shades within the Superstay Matte Ink Liquid Lipsticks. Highly pigmented, non-transfer, liquid matte lipsticks, um, precise application, blah, 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 $10.99 each. I think they're already available. These are fun colors for the summer and... I think a couple of these look really pretty. There is a like a orangey red in here. There is a purple in here. These are shades that you don't see all the time at the drugstore. So if you are looking for a fun poppy color for summer, this might be something fun because you don't have to break the bang to get like a little bit of a different color. But matte liquid lipsticks. Who would have thought? Not me. Not me. I got a lot of tags in this new foundation by Ritual the Fee. There is no way that I'm trying this. This is a oil serum foundation. No. This is, you can already see by the swatches that this is a glossy foundation. This is supposed to be like a, a like an oil drop foundation kind of a thing. And it's not, it's not my journey. That's not what I do. I don't, I don't mind a lightweight foundation. I love a light coverage or sheer coverage foundation, but I still need it to dry down so I can't have it be like a tinted oil because this is a tinted oil. If your skin loves oil, go for it. My skin does not love oil during the daytime. It's, I'm going to look like I needed to shower three days ago and I just let time slip me by. So this isn't my vibe this isn't for me but maybe it's for you maybe it's for you I just I already know just based on the swatches that I'm not gonna love this Root Cosmetics is doing a collaboration with Shuba Shoops Shuba Shoops is that how you say it it's like the lollipop I think it's Spanish, right? Spanish is not one of my languages. Honestly, it looks cute. It's a huge collection. There are some blushes. There are some water-activated liners. There is an eyeshadow palette that is, for one reason or another, all nude. And there's like a blush and highlighter duo. It's like, it's nice products, liquid liners, a makeup bag. I don't think this is for me. Root Cosmetics is a brand that I've heard good things about and I've heard some people love the quality and some people hate the quality. And I don't need to be adding one more brand to my repertoire of brands that I'm reviewing. No creator can review them all. We all have to pick and choose of which ones we think are the most interesting. And since these are very, very neutral palettes, I think this is an easy skip for me. But if they were to release something that's very, very up my alley, I could be interested because it's a fairly affordable brand. I have no idea where these are available, if it's only on Root Cosmetics website, but I'll link it down below and you can have a peek at it. I don't mind like candy brands doing collabs with makeup because I feel like it's a fairly easy concept to develop into makeup products but I just don't understand where they ended up how did they start from a lollipop brand and ended up with two nude eyeshadow palettes how was the discussion in the boardroom where that happened? I actually got a mail from Kasha Beauty that they were sending me a, one of their new shades in their new Play Bento like little boxes. It is the uh, like contour, like their little face trios in their little bento boxes. So they are coming out with two new shades, which is Sugar Cookie that is for Fair, and then it is Dolce Cappuccino, which is for Tan. So now they have Fair, Light, Medium, Tan, Deep. And unfortunately, they only, like, they were like, do you want the new fair one or do you want the new tan one? And I was like, well, I'm neither fair nor tan, but I went with the fair one because I could probably make that work. Um, but the tan one is just, I'm not tan. There's no way that I'm tan in any, <laughs> in any cycle of my, my tanness. I'm never anything more than a very light medium so yeah definitely i went with the fair i'm gonna try the quality i know my friend samantha march loves this one so maybe if i end up loving it as well maybe i'll get it in my actual shade which is probably either a light or a medium but i'm excited to be trying it out because i've heard good things about this and yeah it's gonna be fun to see it's gonna be fun to see what it looks like honestly the shades in the fair one looks really pretty so 
I'll try it out and I'll let you know what I think about the quality. And Tarte has also released a new shade of their Fake Awake Eye Highlight, which is a pen for your waterline to make you look a little bit more bright and awake. And they released it in white. And I love a white um, like eye, like eyeliner for my waterline. I think it's so brightening. And we did that in the... When was that so popular? I want to say beginning of the 2000s. It was really, at least where I was living, I was in Sweden. It was really popular to have the white in the waterline. And I remember having that all the time and just really, really loving it. And this is something that I would like to see more brands do. And some brands do just like taking a product that's popular and just being like, let's just release one more shade. It doesn't have to be a big deal. Tarte is definitely a brand that releases a lot of products, but it's nice to see that sometimes a release can just be like, yeah, we're just extending with one more shade. Why not? I, I like that. I think it's smart. And also with the, the Kasha Beauty one, just being like, this is a product that people really like. Let's just release some more shades. Let's just pad this range out a little bit because I understand that not all brands can afford, even though we might think that they're a big brand or they're at Sephora, not all brands can afford to release the entire shade range all at once. And I also like the idea of having something like this, like the eye pen for the waterline and just being like, let's just release it in one more shade because a lot of people do love white. Me included. I love white in the waterline. Such a nice brightening and contrasting when you want to have that contrast. Ugh really like it. So I'm excited to see it. I think that was everything. Let me just double check so we are not like missing something super, super important. Ooh, actually, while we're talking about it, something is happening here. Mm -mm -mm. This is from Pacifica Beauty. They're putting a new product sneak peek. Something spectacular is coming. This I saw this at a makeup on my radar. That's exciting. I wonder, it looks like it could be skincare, right? It looks like it could be skincare. That's fun. Let's see what that ends up being. But yeah, I think that that is everything. Let me scooch back and we can talk about the giveaway. My giveaways are always super easy, super simple. I will put all of the details in a pinned comment down below. So make sure you actually read that before you enter so that you make sure that you're actually following the, the instructions so that if I draw your name as a winner, you're actually able to win. Because it has happened that I have a... Uh, pull the winner and the winner didn't follow the instructions. So I had to pull a new winner. So make sure you read the comment down below. All you have to do to enter this giveaway is to be subscribed to my channel. And you also have to have visible subscriptions. There is a link in the description box that shows you how you do that. You only have to do it throughout the length of this giveaway, of course, but I need to make sure that I can see that you're actually subscribed to my channel because I want to give the, the prize to a subscriber on my channel. You leave a comment down below. You can leave a comment saying anything you want, like, the video and fill out the Google form. I will not be contacting you here on YouTube saying that you're one. So if you get one of those spam comments saying you want to give away, contact me on WhatsApp, contact me on Instagram, that is not me. I will email you through the email that you will leave in the Google form. This is what I'm doing to make sure that you're not getting scammed. So when you win, I will contact you via mail and I will also, um, when I've gotten a hold of the winners and everything, I will put in the pinned comment which ones were the winner. Because I'm going to have more than one winner this time. I'm going to have six winners. Each of the winners are going to get a big surprise mystery box filled with makeup, beauty, and accessories. And I'm going to ship it to you. Each box is going to be a surprise. Nobody gets to pick which box they're getting. You're all getting a surprise box filled with makeup, but everyone is getting lip products. Everyone is getting eyeshadow palettes and accessories. And I'm not including anything like concealers or foundations or bronzers, something that could be very specific to one's skin tone. So I'm trying to keep it in a way so that everyone can enjoy at least most of the things that you are winning. I will be shipping four of the boxes within the US and two of the boxes internationally. So make sure that you are filling out your address properly in the Google form so that I know which is which. This because it is very expensive to ship boxes internationally and also because a majority of my viewers are actually from the US. So it actually makes it very fair statistically for four of them to be in the US and for two of them to be internationally. But there's no difference in the value of the boxes if they're the international one or the uh, domestic one they're all worth pretty much the same. The giveaway is going to be open for about two weeks. I'm going to put the exact time and date that the giveaway closes down below. And then of course, give me a day or two to get in contact with the winners until I can announce who has won. 
I will ship out the prices and like I said all the details are going to be in the pinned comment down below so make sure you're filling out the google form make sure that you are subscribed and you're liking the video and leaving a comment and also know that I will not be contacting you here if you see someone here claiming to be me and writing you from a different account not my account that has the check mark afterwards that is someone trying to lure you someone trying to scam you so please please be safe out there and don't give anyone your information and of course the things that you're entering in the google form those are for my eyes and my assistant only after the giveaway is over I will delete all of that I will not save any of your information and I'm not going to give it to anyone else I'm not going to use it in any other way so best of luck to all of you and I hope you're having an absolutely amazing day and I will see you again I will see you on Monday for a new video just know that next week I might not be as active in the comments because I am in Charleston with friends but I am planning to have it live uh, sometime during the afternoon evening time from Charleston me and Heather Austin are sharing a room so I will put that up as a scheduled live or maybe I'll just pop in live next week without even scheduling it just know that I am planning to do that from Charleston maybe for an hour or something like that next week but other than that I'm gonna have some pre film videos next week and hopefully you will enjoy those and I will vlog it as well and put it on my vlog channel okay I will see you soon bye